Hey guys, today we are going to be creating memes for my therapist says using Adobe Stock, so stay tuned. First thing first, we're going to go to the website stock.adobe.com and log in. Now, the key to making a perfect meme is obviously the picture, so that's very important, which is why we're so happy for such a website that has curated tons and tons of graphics for us. We're going to start with searching for my favorite animal of all time, a cat. Look at this. Look how many pictures we have. But we need the most hilarious one. Oh, there we go. Found one. So you click on it. And obviously before you purchase it, there's a watermark, which is fine. We're going to license it. We're going to get the standard license. Once this picture is downloaded, I'm going to show you what we do next and how we are going to create our finished meme. And that was as easy as pie, opening this picture. But look at the quality, I'm obsessed. So next, we open up Photoshop. Now that we have Photoshop open, we're going to be making a custom size for our meme. So it's going to be 1080 width by 1350 height, 72 resolution, RGB, white background. There you go. Now we're going to bring in the image. Now that we've opened the cat image or any other image you guys have, we're going to double click and unlock it and then we're going to get our rounded rectangle tool because what kind of meme would it be without rounded edges first though we're gonna make sure that this uh, the corners are the radius that we like so I personally like it around 100 so then we're gonna go like that from the corner that looks about right to me so what we do is then make sure that it's filled black I remove the stroke just to be safe and now I'm going to put this below. I'm going to select the cat layer and then I'm going to go to layer and then I'm going to create clipping mask. And now I'm not sure if you can tell, I actually can zoom in, but you can see that the edges are rounded. Now what we do is I merge these layers and then I duplicate this layer to cat meme and there we go we have our cap name but we have to change the size because the resolution is way bigger which is totally fine and now we're gonna add our funny meme caption which is what basically makes the meme a meme now we're gonna pick some basic text you press T or you choose a text tool click here and then we're gonna write I'm gonna select all and then I'm gonna pick a font that you know matches our aesthetic we have a meme now what do we do the next step would be to export it now the way I export it is file export and I know I'm old school but I do save for web legacy and I unclick transparency because it makes the uh, size smaller I check the resolution everything seems okay and then I click save audio cat meme whatever folder you have you save it to and there it is now I'm gonna show you what it looks like there you go it's beautiful beautifully trimmed but the best thing is is how easily it was for us to grab the image from Adobe stock thank you so much for tuning in and watching us use Adobe stock now go out there use Adobe stock and create your own memes.